Hello everyone, greetings to you all and in this short video we will be exploring our Andhra Pradesh state SALT teacher training videos and submitting the Google form for competency based assessment. There is a confusion that CBA stands for classroom based assessment but for teachers it is abbreviated as class not classroom based assessment it is competency based assessment so training videos and this competency based assessment includes baseline questions followed by three assessment videos we need to watch the three videos regarding the quality of assessment types of questions qualities qualities of a good question and followed by end line assessment comprising the same questions which were given in the baseline so dear viewers this is a google form being floated by Samagra Siksha, Government of AP in association with SCRT Andhra Pradesh. Now let's get to know the questions and the process of submission. So this is the form being communicated to all the teachers working in government management in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And now let us look at the uh, components of the Google form one by one. So dear viewers, the first one starts with email address. I will first show the blank fleets, then I will practically demonstrate the one by one and based on your responses and based on your uh, analysis, you may choose the options and accordingly you can submit the Google form. So number one, email address, teacher's full name, please type the capital letters or in block letters, then followed by treasury ID, gender, phone number, name of the district, we need to select from the drop down menu and Mandal and school UDIS code. Please type the UDIS code of the respective school properly. Then fill up the name of the school, management type and cluster type. Is it rural or urban? So there are two types. Semi-urban is also there, but whether it is covered under rural or urban, then the classes you teach. So from pre-primary one, prep one to class 10, all the classes are listed. Uh, the classes you deal with you can select accordingly. So dear viewers, now let's get to know the practical Google form one by one. So select the classes you teach and the subject you uh, select. So here uh, I get associated with English. So I am choosing the subject English. So if you want to choose two, two three subjects, you can choose. But the questions might be the same in the uh, test questions. So click on next then one of the main objectives of an assessment is so three options are given here so you can select the uh, proper one based on your analysis of the question so here the second question reads which type of assessments does NEP 2020 recommend so national education policy 2020 what the what type of assessment is it recommended so is it assessments for identifying high achievers assessments for promotion or assessments for formative learning so accordingly you can choose so here i am not providing the answers just you need to uh, get a fair idea so that you can attempt uh, successfully regarding this uh, salt training uh, assessment survey so next question reads when are the formative assessments conducted is it before during or after so very familiar accordingly please select your answer how does ap classroom based assessment pro promote fairness so ikkada consistency gaani equality gaani quality of assessment e vidhanga cba conduct chestundi so teacher supervise teach students take the test in their classrooms all students of the same classes are given the same test so which one is right as per your choice so here which of these does a good question measure ee kindichina vaatlo oka manchi prashna denni assess chestundi so understanding of the concept memory or ability so right choice you can select analysis of the students performance in an assessment can give insights into the quality of curriculum instruction education policy education policy ennapudu manaki documents ncf nep state curriculum framework instruction and teaching pedagogical techniques strategies and methodologies curriculum means syllabus of 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 all subjects so which one is suitable here and a good quality question 
will not be easy to answer, will not be an MCQ, multiple choice question, does not test trivial ideas. So, easy ga unde da, multiple choice question unde manchi question, does not test trivial ideas. So, peripheral surface knowledge, easy ga answer chase it va. So, ye da nedi miru question ikada select chase kawale. Which of these is a main problem regarding poorly written questions? Student response chase sa, difficult ga unde it va. Provide accurate in insights. Which of these types of questions help to identify learning gaps in students? So, questions that require students to use multiple steps to apply concepts. Questions that require students to memorize. So, accordingly you can select. How do insights from students' performance analysis help teachers? insights implications thoughtful ideas evidanga student performance ki teachers help chestai teachers can identify easy questions teachers can identify good students teachers can appropriate uh, plan remedial instruction so edanedi ikkada select cheskovali so click on next it will take us to the next platform or next item of questions so ikkada class ki sambandhinchi subject questions unnai ikkada meeru which of these is a complete sentence ఇక్కడ మనం ఇక్కడ ఒకసారి ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ చూడండి ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ హ్యాస్ త్రీ స్టెప్స్ ప్రతి ప్రశ్నకి మూడు స్టెప్స్ ఉంటాయి ఒకటి ఫస్ట్ ఆన్సర్ని ఇవ్వడము రెండవది రేటింగ్ చేయడము మూడవది ఏ ఎందుకు ఆ రేటింగ్ ఇచ్చావని జస్టిఫై చేయడం కారణం తెలపడం సో ఈ విధంగా మీకు టైం ఎక్కువ తీసుకుంటుంది సో ఐ విల్ జస్ట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ది క్వశ్చన్స్ రేట్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆన్ ఎ స్కేల్ ఆఫ్ టూ విచ్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ is a complete sentence look at the screen sentence completion syntax error ee vidhanga meeru ikkada question confusing the shout root doubt loud shoot none ikkada meer rating ivadamu enduku aa rating ichcham ani cheppadamu tarvata how many times does the earth rotate on its own axis during one complete journey around the sun read the question on a scale of 2 na సో ఇక్కడ మనం జీరో వన్ టూ జీరో స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ ఫోర్ అండ్ టూ స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ గుడ్ అండ్ వన్ స్టాండ్స్ ఫర్ యావరేజ్ సో ఈ విధంగా మనకి ఆప్షన్స్ జస్టిఫికేషన్స్ రేటింగ్ మనం ఇవ్వడం జరుగుతుంది సో డియర్ వ్యూయర్స్ ప్లీజ్ హ్యావ్ పేషెన్స్ అండ్ గో త్రూ ఆల్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ మీనింగ్ఫుల్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ యు విల్ గెట్ ది వీడియోస్ సో దట్ ఆఫ్టర్ వాచింగ్ వీడియోస్ యు విల్ గెట్ క్రిస్టల్ క్లారిటీ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ సబ్మిటింగ్ ద రెస్పాన్సెస్ so here training videos instruction first video is on introduction to classroom based assessment cba watch it for about a while and then after watching thoroughly you can get the fair idea on assessment then what are the characteristics of a good question this second video contains uh, a powerpoint presentation and telugu and english uh, explanation in this video regarding that characteristic of a good question then question review and question rating the third video is about review of the question and rating of the question so after watching these three videos again the same questions do appear in the end line assessment this is called end line form for ap salt teacher training videos so accordingly you can choose and submit the google form regarding this uh, assessment survey from all the teachers so you have to give the answer uh, give the rating and justify the rating why you have given that particular rating on the uh, in the given options so with this we can conclude today's video on quality of assessment so whatever the responses is only for an uh, understanding analysis purpose and based on your understanding and application of the concept you can give your own uh options and you can finally click on submit so dear viewers so with this the video has come to a conclusion and you can click on submit and it will show your response has been recorded so please do subscribe and encourage have a great day ahead